Minecraft has one of the most extensive modding scenes of any game ever made. Mojang didn't make Minecraft cool enough, so the fan base was like, why don't we just do it ourselves? And so the fans hopped up on Mountain Dew and Adderall, created some of the most mind-blowing creations that have ever been made into Minecraft via mods. But also, now there's Skibbity Toilet fighting Freddy Fazbear, so, uh, you know, probably should just throw it all in the trash. Modded Minecraft has become a staple of the content scene over here on YouTube, and that's where I come in. I've been playing mod packs as my job for the past few years, and I've learned a lot. I've played some of the biggest and hardest mod packs in existence. Some mod packs that range from incredibly creative to the most unfair, with millions upon millions of downloads spanning all of them. We will not be talking about those today. What I've found instead is one of the most unique, underrated, difficult, flawed, yet special take on the Minecraft formula that I've seen in years. And that title falls to Explorer's Eve. Salutations! My name is Eclipse, and today I will take you through my journey. My ups, downs, and hilarious moments of stupidity, luck, and all around... Uh, wait, I, I died there. Uh, let me try that again. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, come on! Uh, that wasn't even- uh, You son of a bi- Oh, and did I mention it's incredibly difficult? If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. You know, all the stuff that YouTubers tell you to do. Leave a comment. I don't- I don't know, man. It's just- they make you say that, okay? Just do that so I'm not homeless, please? Thank you. With all that out of the way, I now welcome you, dear viewer, to the hardest mod pack you've never played. A couple things before we properly get started. I originally wanted to spend 100 days in this mod pack for those sweet, sweet YouTube clicks, but the developer, SM64Me, we'll call him SM for short, didn't recommend it as this pack is supposed to be trial and error and you learn as you get eviscerated. At first, I didn't listen to that advice, slapped on hardcore, and it went a little something like this. Is this wither sickness or is it just wither? Oh my God, nah, okay. Not a damn thing you can do there. Oh shit. <laughs> all right, well. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. All right, all right, all right, I get the message. Nah, fuck you, man. Listen, try to play his fucking thing. So we're gonna tweak this playthrough a bit. It was recommended to play on normal, but fuck that, I'm not a pussy. Slap it on hard, and in return, I'm gonna give myself keep inventory. And before I hear all you bitch and moan in my comment section, this isn't gonna help as much as you think. Also, the best moments of this pack are when you don't know what's going to happen because SM has changed everything about the fundamentals. This may look like the Twilight Forest, but oh, it's not. So when needed, I'll splash in my original run reactions here and there so you can see all the pain I went through. Got all that? Nice. Now welcome to hell. And now we go! Shit! So, that guy explodes and teleports, uh, which is not normal. He's not supposed to do that, but I don't think he really gives a fuck. So, uh, go! Welcome to Explorer's Eve. This is not the run we're going to be following. This is. I can't see his stuff. Oh, there it is. Found his stuff. Am I dead? Am, am I a dead? What a start! All right, let's go. And now you have the whole concept of this pack, the Wither Storm. Except it follows you forever. And I mean for fucking ever. We'll get to that in a minute, but the only bit of advice that we have right now is to find a way to get out of the Twilight Forest. Get enough to survive and don't get eaten. The Wither Storm may look small now, but it's only a matter of time. So the first thing I did was chop wood. They added the Lumberjack mod in this, so whenever you chop one little log, eventually it'll chop the entire tree if you just sit here and stare at it for a couple hours. I picked up these green roots that we'll need for later. They make darts, just remember that. I raided this maze for golden apples and food, cause running from a goddamn eldritch entity sure works up an appetite. I do have a whole plan and structure on how I'm going to get out of the Twilight Forest specifically, so I'm picking seemingly random objects up for now. They're all important, I promise. Like this gunpowder, saddle, and even golden apples, but I'm sure you know what those are for. 
After filling up my inventory, I needed to drop more useless items to keep space for all the needed ones, like this boat. All hail the mighty boat. See, it's the only thing that can outrun the wither storm when it goes into chase mode. What's chase mode, you might ask? <laughs> Watch. So there's no music right now because all the music uh, is specific to when like really intense moments happen. So whenever we get into bosses and the music kicks up, that's kind of the cue that things are about it. Right on cue. We're dead. We're so fucking dead. So I was fucking booking it. And every misstep, every time I hit a wall or hit water without using a boat, the damn weather storm was getting closer. Eventually, about 10 minutes after it started its chase and around 6,000 blocks of running later, the weather storm gets distracted. And I've finally got some time to gather my wits and supplies. During this time, I made a backpack. Side note here, the dev hasn't added backpacks to the mod yet. They said they were thinking about doing it, but haven't actually implemented it. I think it's needed. So I added L2 backpacks. It's not overpowered, but it's just enough to keep your inventory from bursting at the seams. I think it fits well. While we're on the subject, I also added Zero's minimap, which I'm pretty sure SM, the mod developer, has already put in by now, but I put it in before it was there. The map is needed, because to escape, we're going to need to find tons of POIs. The first one, the Naga. This fight in the original Twilight Forest mod is very one note. Slap the snake and dodge it when it charges at you once. Now, though, it doesn't stop charging till you're fucking dead. So you need to bring a shield. Let me drink some milk for good luck, steal your water bucket for good fuck, and get over here for a good suck. hey -ya! Welcome. I really wanted to do this with an iron axe. This is gonna take longer, but it's fine. I've ran past too many of these. So when he slithers like that, then you just bop him with a shield, which the game's telling me. I already knew that. Thank you, game. Oh, and he hits like a truck. Well, not really. I'm just in less than iron armor. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, it's fair. Yeah, no. Fuck you too. He charged behind me. How, that is rude. They should split him. Yep. And now he splits into two for the end of this fight, which I think is super unique. The original guy does not do this. This is his like special thing. Also, I, I think the shield is unique as well. I don't think this works with the shield all the time. Kick an ass, get these crits like a Minecraft pro. Get my ball sack fucked like a Minecraft pro. <laughs> <laughs> Sir! Sir! Angry man! Hiss! Some of you. One of you. The longer I stay here, the more Big Daddy Mama over there is coming to absolutely roll me. Alright, going for this one. Nice! This is the one I can just actually fully take out here. Alright, last one. I just realized where we are on the map, and it's horrible. We gotta go all the way around. Consensus around the fight is that the difficulty's fine, but the fight isn't just intuitive enough to new players. It just seemed too cluttered. The fight was a little easier when I turned particle effects down, I'll, I'll give you that. When it gets below half health, it now snaps in two, showing you that this game is not what it seems. A real breath of fresh air from the monotony that is the Twilight Forest mod. Killing it, with an absurd amount of obscenities later, you get Naga scales. I made sure to turn them into a chest plate, as it's better than the iron that I have on, and the dev has made it so that there's no diamonds in the initial Twilight Forest. This is the only way to get stronger. Annoyingly enough, I didn't have enough scales, so I had to find another Naga structure Kill another Naga like this. And make some plants, all while the Wither Storm is trying to gain ground on me. SM coded this game so that no matter how far you get away, he's always loaded and always coming. <laughs> With a little bit of gear from the fight and our first explorer's treasure as a reward, an explorer's treasure is an item that never breaks and is super useful and sometimes only found from bosses or special structures. Kind of a cool thing that Explorer's Eve adds as an incentive for going around finding shit. This one is an invisibility charm, allowing me to turn invisible 20% of the time I get smacked. With all of that equipped, we are now ready to head for the Mino Shroom. But why am I doing this?
Well, to get out of the forest, you need an Echo Shard now. This is one of the many paths that you can take in this mod to go get one, kill the Mino Shroom. There's a lot of different paths in this pack, but they never really explicitly tell you, so unless you get literal tips from the mod developer, you're not gonna know where to go, which is irritating, but regardless, my options are kinda limited. I could go try to fight the Hydra, or try to fight the Twilight Lich, or just calm down for a little bit and go down the maze and fight the Mino Shroom. So I'm off looking for a swamp. It's really amazing that this whole dimension is yours to explore off rip in this mod pack. If you don't know Twilight Forest, usually you have to fight bosses in a certain order to unlock the rest of the place or else you just die instantly going into different biomes. Not in Explorer's Eve though, you can go everywhere from the start. Like these giant mounds that I found along the way, and there was a miner's ring in the middle of this one. And after smelting the rest of my food and ore, I did something stupid. Just gonna stop by, see if there's a chest in the first room. Bye. See ya. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> and I've changed my mind. And I will no longer be saying hello. After running for what felt like hours, I found the swamp with the maze. Hopped in and totally didn't die immediately. Hey, that went nice. Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> what are you doing here? Eventually, I found my way down, and with TNT I made from gunpowder that I got earlier, I found this spot in the maze and got my demolition on. This may seem like a random act of arson, but trust me, I've got my reasons. After blowing up a hole in the wall, I exposed more TNT. No fucking idea how it doesn't explode from all the other bombs, but I took them out, and we have successfully broken into the maze vault. I failed this many times, but if you do exactly what I did, you'll be able to break your way in and steal the fucking prize inside. That prize? Is is the only pickaxe in this entire dimension that can break obsidian. I also grabbed everything else in these chests, including the uncrafting table, remember that guy for later, and now the only thing left to do was to take out the Mino Shroom himself. Originally, he's a pushover. All you gotta do is get him stuck behind a wall and then whack, 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 he's dead. But now, when he throws his axe, he teleports. But that just means he teleports into walls. <laughs> Dumbass. Is this mean? Maybe. Do I care? No, this mod pack's hard enough as is. I finally gotta run to get out of this goddamn forest. Don't make that noise at me, sir. 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 Fuck did I just say? Well, go back. Oh shit. Can't hit me, bitch. You'll just die like that. Is it kind of the kill if I don't get it? Yes. <laughs> Woo! Legendary Warp Dax and the Echo Shard and a full set of gear that I already have. Again, I must emphasize, this is not the only way to get Echo Shards in the Twilight Forest right now. This is just the easiest way that I found. I had to ask the dev for other locations to plan out a route because they aren't really explicitly told to you, which I think is really dumb, but if I went any other way, I would just be dying over and over and over. Side note here, I think this mod pack would really benefit from a quest book, explaining to you all the options you have of how to proceed. I mean, technically the book you spawn with does give you vague direction, but it's more like, go that way, I think, fucker, good luck. And that doesn't really help anyone. Enough bitching for the moment. Beating the Miner Shroom gives you enough Steel Leaf to make a full set of gear. The closest we'll get to Diamond this early on. It's strong, but very fragile. We'll have to find a replacement in the next dimension. By this point, the Wither usually had come to rearrange my asshole, but this time it was surprisingly quiet. The dev recommended I check in on the Wither to see if it accidentally despawned. A one in a million chance, but it is possible. I'm only leaving this in though, because it is the funniest thing I've ever seen. The Wither? is stuck. <laughs> Door stuck, please. Well, not to look a gift horse in the mouth, I spent my time with a stepsister Witherstorm stuck in the dryer, mining pillars of obsidian. I could explain why, but I think it's better if I just show you. Flashback to my first run, throwing the Echo Shard into the portal, I made my way to the overworld, and for the first time since I got into this mod pack, I breathed a sigh of relief. For the first time in four hours, I could set up a base. 
I decided to live next to my portal, and while I was getting everything set up, this happened. You know, stopped hearing. You wouldn't have this problem. I don't know how to stop them from doing that. This cave is rather close to the surface. This cave is home. How dare you disrespect it? What's wrong with the surface? <laughs> You're shitting me. No. No! Do I have to run? EQ, I suggest you do one thing and run. I'm going. I'm going. You're shitting me! You did this?! No! <laughs> you... Fucking bitch! I don't have any food! Okay. You're fucking kidding me. I would me. agree with Java here. Iron, Firefly, Ender Pearl. Spyglass. Spyglass. You're the bitching my dick! Those aren't even words! <laughs> no! Son of a bitch! <laughs> this is officially the most insane wither storm I've ever faced! Oh. You fucking cunt! Oh, SM, All of her you fucking boys, though, bitch! Dead. It's okay, All we'll of make her more. Son. Uh, unmute there for all of that, yeah, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna go 27. It's okay, it's, it's vanilla. It's vanilla, it's vanilla. Also, uh, all the mobs are scared. All the mobs are really scared. They're not having a good time. Some of them are turning poisoned, and all is bad. But there is a village, which is good. Maybe if we hide there, uh, the wither storm will take them instead of me. No, them! Oh, hay bales. I know this is a terrible time to do this, but I don't have food. I will die of starvation. What is he setting shit on fire? He's got fireballs? Why does he have fireballs? Not the worm puppies, not the puppies. Uh-oh. Okay. It's okay. There's a plan. I'm safe. I got this. This sucks. What a terrible place to be. You're now infinitely purple. No, go! Oh, shit. That's a tractor beam. No, it's still just setting himself fire. Fair enough. Yeah. All right, I'm busy. Don't come in. I'm taking a shit! Doodly do! He's so angry. Don't come in! S SF is a genius fucking devil. Get up. Getting out. Not wither sick. Get over this hill so the tractor beams don't see. Who oh, am I kidding? They see fucking amazingly. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Oh my god! With my last pearl, if I get caught, I'm dead if I don't use that thing. What are you fucking crazy? Holy shit, you're a scary man. Don't land in the water, please. Please don't land in the water. You have the ice staff thing? What the fuck is the ice staff thing gonna do? It oh. doesn't shoot good projectiles. Fuck. 
Oh, we're gonna find out how good the projectiles are. Yeah, great. I'm fucking screwed. GG's. GG's. This sucks. I was lied to. I mean... I hit him! Oh, fucking... I hate this shit. Back to present. First off, that is fucked up. My whole chat even gaslit me into thinking I was safe in the overworld, but nope. SM the Madman coded it so that the Witherstorm follows you through dimensions. And aside from that being the coolest thing I've ever seen, it's also the fucking scariest. So back to my actual run, when I make it to the overworld, I immediately made a portal to the nether, sat and waited for good old Stormy to come by, and... <laughs> Whether it be through limitations of the mod or the dev being nice to you for once in the cosmos, the Witherstorm can't follow me in the nether. Instead, it's in the overworld sitting at the portal like a puppy waiting for its owner to come home. But instead of peeing on the carpet out of excitement, it pulls you in with fucking tractor beams and eats you. So for now, we're stuck in the nether. I immediately spawned near a bastion with some exposed gold, huh, don't mind if I do, then ran to the nearest nether fortress. I mean, what the fuck else do you do in the nether? By the fortress, I set up my box. This shitty hole in the wall is going to be both my base and safe haven for this entire game. I made chests here because there's so many items and I'm getting to the point where I can't carry any of them. So they'll take refuge here while I'm out. Right after I nab some glowstone, you'll never guess, another item we're going to need a lot of. Then, using all that gold I s uh, acquired, I traded with piglins hoping to get fire resistance potions. It kind of just feels like a normal Minecraft run at this point. If I close my eyes, I can almost forget about the fucking wither storm waiting for me to come back. But this isn't like Minecraft. Because our next step is to find Super TNT. Regular weapons can't kill the wither storm. To end it, you'll need a critical item Super TNT. There are two ways to find it. First, you could wander the surface of the overworld to find entrances to small dungeons in hopes of finding a map. Following this map and digging down will lead you to another dungeon, this one containing Super TNT. There is Big Fuck Daddy Witherstorm down there, so we will not be doing that. The second one, you could construct a portal to the Aether using glowstone. Activate with a water bucket. No map will help you here, but a, re a rectangular tunnel into a large floating island will lead you to Super TNT. Wow. To summarize this in words that aren't fucking riddles, you can find Super TNT in a specific dungeon in the overworld or in a bronze dungeon in the Aether, hence the glowstone. I'm not prepped enough to get Super TNT yet, so I thought I'd explore the Nether Fortress and maybe get some nice items before heading back into the storm's crosshairs. And because nothing's ever simple for an EQ, I got fucking mining fatigue. R really? Nah. Luckily, it's only in the main part of the fortress where this weird structure is, with a hovering purple block sitting above it. I don't know what to do with it for now, so mama said keep your hands to yourself. Heading deeper into this fortress, it's not your typical nether fortress. The game's using Young's Better Fortresses mod, so I knew there was a ton of loot down there. I turned a corner and found chiseled nether brick in the shape of a wither. Turn all the faces to be upright and... Oh my god, that worked! What?! Whoa! Loot! And redstone! A repeater! I can make the fucking glass! No way that just happened. The pig slayer. Okay. Twilight Forest Fiery... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mr. Dirty Balls. Oh, shit. Getting fiery blood this way is a super unique use of the Twilight Forest resource. Mixing the blood with iron, you can make ingots comparable to diamond, if not a little less durable. I only got a few vials of blood, so I'll have to be strategic about where I pour it. Further into the Labyrinthian Forest, I got my blaze rods, coal, obsidian, iron, gold, tons of things, but still no diamonds. I survived a couple more puzzles and got more blood, and once I was done, I went back to the safety box. Used my blood to make a pickaxe and a sword, and... Then I found something on my map. What the fuck is that? What is that? What are you? Hello? Well, naturally, I had to go see what the hell that was, and when I got close, I saw a dungeon. A very, huh, ghastly dungeon. G get it? Get it? 
You get the no, you get the, you get, okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll go fuck myself. That's fine. No, it's, no, it's okay. All right, what the f- Oh, mommy gassed. What? Mommy gassed fight. Oh, shit. More like mother mistakes. More like motherly, uh, manipulating my mm, emasculated monolithic. Ah, fuck it. It's a huge gas. Okay. Chill. Damn. All right, y'all. I get it. You guys ain't gotta be this way, okay? Calm down. Fuck. Get your phantom ass out of my phantom pussy. We're in. <laughs> He's angry. The Beyblade is letting it rip. Let's fight in an epic battle. <laughs> oh God, I'm so fucking boned. No time for doubt now. He is violently growling. You, he's not touching me. He's not touching me. He's not touching me. He's not touching me. He's not. He is now somehow. What the fuck? I, he's not, I'm not even touching him. Ah, uh, fuck you. Clearly brute forcing the gas tower of fuck isn't gonna work here. So I headed back to the overworld. The wither should be done chasing at this point, and as long as it isn't sitting outside the portal that isn't even loaded yet, we should be able to just jump in on him, right? So I grabbed some mushrooms, made some stew before I starved to death, and then lit the portal to break my way into the overworld for the second time. Oh my god! How fair is that? Turns out it's nigh impossible to outrun the Wither Storm when you teleport to heaven because the fucker just rises up like he's Lin-Manuel Miranda and chomps my balls. So back to the nether to come up with a plan. Well, since one block in the overworld is eight blocks in the nether, if I run back to the spawn portal really fast, I might be able to outrun the Wither Storm and try finding Super TNT in the mineshaft because the Aether is clearly a fucking no-go. So I juke the Wither Storm for now and we're off to find my shaft. Uh, to wait. Also, in case you think you're clever and are gonna use the parachute from the Aether, that doesn't work well either because SM thought of everything. Wait, it snapped? You're shitting me. What? You made it to where the fucking parachute is one durability? You evil, evil man. Now I think might be a good time to calmly talk about the overworld. It fucking sucks. Or moreover, mine fucking sucks. Even the dev, when he hopped into my chat while I was live streaming was like, why is half your world planes and like no structures? That's not how it should be. I think I just got really unlucky with my seed, but after running eight or 10,000 blocks for the sake of time, we decided to just slash locate the structure because I'd be here for years otherwise. I will explain though how you're supposed to find the Super TNT dungeon though. So if you aren't like me, you'll find this ice biome or any other type of biome with a structure in it that doesn't end in about two chunks. And you'll find these temples or dungeons. They will have a chance for an echo shard and that's great and all, but they also have a chance for this map to spawn. Following this map will take you to the cords of an abandoned mine shaft with lots of traps and explosions. This is how you know you're in the right place. I usually don't like slash locating. I find it cheating. But A, this is a fucking YouTube video, not the SATs. Two, the situation was fucking ridiculous. And C, fuck you. Bitch about it in my comments. Your rage fills me with euphoria. Anyways, back to my shaft exploding. Why do I fucking write these things? Oh my God. Making my way through the mine to the center, I found TNT in this chest. Apparently, it will always be in this chest, and if it blows up, because that's a trap chest, you're just fucked out of TNT, so you gotta find a whole nother shaft. Just don't lose the TNT, it's in the middle room, you'll always find it. I'm not gonna lie, that's infuriating game design, but it didn't blow up for me, so we're moving on. Now that you got your super TNT, it's time to set it off. Un 
Approach the Wither Storm and light the fuse. Unfortunately, it won't be that easy. When it's threatened, the Wither Storm will absorb the Super TNT and use it to create a powerful monster, a Withered Symbiont. But this, presen this presents an opportunity. Defeating the Wither Symbiont should injure the Wither Storm and destabilize Super TNT it, it absorbed. And who knows what that could do? It'll probably be something good. And it's not like you have any other options. Also, the Withered Symbiont will scatter tainted dust around when it's defeated, which is used to craft many useful things. So it's time to blow up some TNT. Understood. Hey, fuck ass! Yeah, you! You've been a pain in my dick the entire game! It's time for some penile pain of your own! Oh, he really does just eat that shit! He got fucking panicked! And he ate my TNT! Okay. That's fucking sick. And since the Super TNT has been absorbed, the Wither Storm is now in Death Con fuck shit everything's bad mode and is going to spawn a good friend for us to play with. The Withered Symbiont. Chat, we have to kill that Symbiont. Let's go. Fuck it's dad. That's for damn sure. Dad fucking. Engage. I like that it glows. Oh, that's new. He's got new attacks. Why do you look different? And he walks. That's not normal. The music is banging. The music is so sick. Okay, uh... Witherstorm is distracted. That's nice, at least. He summoned friends. He's not open! What do you mean?! Attack the symbiote from behind to hurt it. Yeah, okay, thanks! He didn't like that I smacked his face! Or back, even! I clapped his cheeks and he clapped mine. He's summoning a lot of guys. Can we just point out, that's maybe a lot of guys. Running, come on, hit him again. Wait, I hit him and did nothing. He healed completely? What do you fucking mean? I hit him for half. I'll take another death. Add it to the tally. Who cares? Okay, he's summoning dudes, which means he's gonna be vulnerable. Yep, he's vulnerable. Here we go. We're running around. That's not fair. He's over there. We gotta hit him. That tentacle missed. Oh, he's awake again. Chad, he's awake again. Swim! Swim, you cunt! Okay, he's spawning a thousand million bajillion mobs that I can't really avoid. And now he's vulnerable. Don't you slap me, you fucking tentacle! Squidward tentaballs! Ah, fuck you, you got one hit left, bitch! This is insane. I have no gear. I'm about to lose my pants. He healed again. What a fucking cunt. Fucker. It's fine. He's so close. Come on. You're a piece of shit. Fucking hate you. Everything you stand for. I hope you die one day by my sword. What do you mean? Please, I need a break. Gotcha. Tainted dust. Acquired. Oh, he's just jizzing tainted dust everywhere. Yes, yes, sir. Wait, why is the bomb exploding? Wait, that's the bomb exploding face. Wait a minute, what? I thought I was just gonna get my super TNT back. Is he gonna vomit it? Is, is the Witherstorm gonna vom? Do I need to run? He's about to blow! Fire in the hole! I 
managed to beat him after tons of deaths. It was nearly impossible after he broke all my armor. I didn't know he would do that, but to be fair, it does seem pretty lame for me to just leave halfway through to go get more armor and come back, so I brute forced it. But if you fight this guy, I recommend a spare set of armor, because he shreds through that shit. Also, if you're unaware of the actual symbiont fight, almost all of what he did was just custom. And that's so fucking cool. The reason the boss ended up regenning was because he ate his mobs that he spawned, and those orbs and everything were nuts, and I just, it was overwhelming, and it was just insane. Moving on. My one gripe with it would be that it takes a long time to beat, and all the while that you're fighting, the Wither Storm is just making the terrain more and more impossible to traverse. You gotta be like a parkour god to even get to the guy half the time. In all fairness, it's sick as fuck, but if you fight him for too long, it may be impossible to get at its back and knock him up before he stops bending over. Wait, he got back up? I switched dimensions and he got back up?! SM, you are a fucking terrible person! Shut up! I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. In case you didn't know, the reason I went into the nether was to try to stop him from getting back up. You're supposed to walk up to the revealed command block whenever he falls over and he fakes you out super hard. Woo, scary! I thought I could delay that and go and get more armor, but nope, we're fucked. And this is where the pack slows down a bit. And it's where I have most of my reservations about it. Look, I've played Minecraft a million times. I've mined for diamonds more times than that, and I'm not new to the netherite grind in the slightest. But the way this pack has been playing out, all the gear that I have isn't even close to matching up, and I die thousands of times a fight, and eventually my armor breaks, and it just seems like the game is pointing me in the direction of netherite or nothing. Which is fine, but I really enjoyed this game's entire concept of picking up scraps and putting together what you can as you're just running and getting away, and it seems like just sitting here for hours and netherite grinding kind of ruins that pacing a bit. It doesn't feel very in tune with the adventure and always moving aspect of this mod pack really just slows down the flow in my personal opinion. This could be fixed if all the stuff just had more durability, but the pack wasn't designed with that in mind, so with no gear, my only option is to get diamonds, and we might as well cop netherite while we're at it. So I went into the cave that I placed my aether portal in earlier and got diamonds fast. To the game's credit, they have upped the diamond spawn rate, so it wasn't too grueling to get through. And I didn't even have to get all the diamonds because Lady Luck finally decided to throw me a bone. No shot. No fucking shot. I can't believe I found this. In the stronghold, I found diamond armor, the end portal, and all sorts of goodies. Even some enchantment books that could prove useful. Speaking of enchantments, let's head back to the nether while I talk about that. I guarantee you someone has already left a comment going, Dumbass should have just made production four and I'm breaking. Worst player in Minecraft, tiny balls, small dick, mini brain boy. First off, hurtful. Second, no, the dev thought of that too. To make an enchantment table, you need Karaite. Uh, if you don't know what that is, <laughs> you fucking will in a bit. Just know it's a bit harder to get than diamonds. With the blue stuff collected, we now need ancient debris. And I thought about just going down with a mining pickaxe and getting 24 ancient debris for hours on end. I even tried it with minimal luck. But I got so desperate that I popped back to Gastville and clutch shot this pearl into the top in hopes of getting ancient debris. What I found instead was much, much better. Charm of life, nice. Soul cannon launches a fireball, explodes and can distract the wither storm. There we go, now we're talking. I could have had this at part one if I just clutched the soul cannon. An item that shoots fireballs in a one by three spread. You cock it back and release. It's also an explorer's treasure, so it will never break. And the best part, the explosions distract the wither storm. Adding this to my arsenal was the best thing that I did in the nether, because with a virtually infinite set of fire gas balls, I finally had some cheese. <laughs> also, the ignited revenants, these Beyblade looking motherfuckers, drop scrap, which is cool, but I've got a better solution for netherite. Back when we fought the symbiont, he spewed purple dust everywhere when he died. We can use it to make a purple dust block. Hmm, where have I seen that before? Oh, he's large! Hello, sir!
Can we stop having multiple things fight me? Just one, please. Oh, I can't hurt him with that. Infinite rage damage. Suck dick. It's just gonna take me about six weeks, but I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I love that this thing has no durability. You know, we've killed things slower in this game. He damn sure made something lava, but it was not the floor. I really hate to break it to you. I don't think you know what the floor is. Netherite monstrosity, I think you did it wrong, buddy. Hello, sir. Don't move. Just stay right there. Everything's gonna be okay. We'll get you out of there real, real, real swift-like. He's not taking damage anymore. Oh yeah, he is. Oh, you don't have to hit him in the face. You need to hit him in the anywhere. What chaos hath thy joined to? Shit land. You're in shit land. Okay. He's at the E of netherite monstrosity. And he's being hurt by wither skeletons. Well, that'll speed up the process. He pissed off some wither skeletons. Okay, he's at the E. He's the ne- He's the ne- Now he's the ne- If his name is just how far his health bar goes to, he's now the net. So now what, buddy? You go up here, he is the letter N. He does not have a name anymore, because he will soon be a corpse. Thank you, Pal World, for teaching me everything I needed to know for this fight. Get him stuck in a wall and kick his ass. The Nether's Broken War Machine. Get fucked. Get fucked. Burning ashes, the lamp of cinders, uh, two monstrous horns, and eleven netherite scrap, baby. Good. Oh, finally something goes an EQ way. This fight was awesome. The lava building every time you get more and more of its health down, the sheer bigness of the monstrosity, and even though I totally cheesed it with the cannon, it was still a great experience. Fighting while scaling the nether fortress, the wither skeletons and blazes coming to fuck you up as well, and you get like 11 netherite scrap and a gilded horn as a reward, so it's really, really like, it feels good to win. It's fantastically designed. Unfortunately, 11 is just barely not enough, so I had to go fight another one. But you know what? The fight was cool. I'm down with it. Bing, bang, boom. We now have enough netherite for a full armor and pickaxe. Uh, I've yet to upgrade all the way though because I don't have one more diamond. I'm missing a single fucking diamond because that's my luck because that's how everything works when you're in EQ. I've also yet to upgrade my fire sword because it's just that good that nothing's beat it yet. I just hope it doesn't break. With our little netherite side quest over, it's time for the next chapter. It minus one diamond. Chapter three, playing catch up. Well, that didn't work. Time for a new strategy. Making a command block of your own to upgrade your weaponry to start. You'll need to gather six con... Oh God, cor... Coruscant. Coruscant? Coruscant panels and a redstone heart. You'll also want a tool able to support so much power. One made from Kerarite, a highly magical mineral that can be crafted using tainted dust. You should be able to have enough. Hopefully by the time you've gathered all this, the wither storm will evolve to a point where you can do more. What? In hindsight, I still find these entries a little confusing, so let me dumb it down. This game is branched off into three different paths again, requiring you to build a command block. You need the command block book, redstone heart, and six concurrent panels to craft this behemoth. To start, we're gonna have to get rid of this damn wither sickness. If you're around the wither for too long, you'll contract wither sickness and you need to make golden apple stew to cure yourself. You can make it with mushrooms, flowers, golden apples, any magical item, whatever that entails. You remember those extra Naga scales that I got way back at the beginning of our journey? Yeah, they're the magical items. I've just been hoarding those and using those. So a couple minutes in Chef EQ's box in the nether and we're good. That's why I haven't talked about them too much. Now pause real quick, dear viewer. 
If you've been watching the same video I have, this game hasn't pulled any punches up until now. Fortunately, at this point of the playthrough, I had my friends literally data mining the game to tell me where specific things spawned and what boss held them, because this game gives you no direction on stuff like this. I still really think a quest book being like, oh hey, this is over here, or you kill this boss and get this, is really nice like direction without hand holding. Everything else is just too vague and with no direction and being chased the whole time, those things don't mix too well. But everything my friends research had led us to one conclusion, the Twilight Forest, again. So we must venture back into the Twilight Forest. Only problem, the Wither Storms completely vored the older portal and I don't have another Echo Shard. Fuck. They do plan for this in this game. Echo Shards do spawn in that temple we talked about before, but also in all giant temples over the overworld. And after death scumming to avoid the Wither Storm, it moves about a thousand blocks a minute, tell me you wouldn't do the fucking same, the search for a desert temple had begun. A desert temple being one of the only other biomes my shitty world had conjured up, so I felt that I was in the clear to go find one. But when I got there, it was already in ruins, and most of the chests had been sucked up by the Wither Storm. Wouldn't you know, my fucking luck, but the only chest chest with the Echo Shard, the Pharaoh's chest, wasn't fucking there. To the next temple. I made my way to a near jungle temple I passed like 30 years ago. And to this game's credit, it's a very unique temple with puzzles that are neat if you don't just break walls like I did. But I mean, the fucking Wither Storm's coming. I don't have time to figure out what block goes in the square hole. It goes in the square hole. Yes. When I got to the end, there was a single chest and I knew I had found the key to re-unlock the twilight. So I went for it and... Fucking, I hate this developer. Yes. Echo Shard acquired. Boots. No, I want the boots. Give me the boots. First off, fuck you, SM. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a heart attack at 21. Second, I got the shard. Third, fuck you, SM, that was not okay. <clears throat> okay, professionalism, I'm a big boy. I fast traveled my way back to my portal. Fast travel. I'm immune to TNT. Can you come fast travel me, sir? Thank you. What I needed most were fire res potions. I got those from Piglins back when I still had hope in my heart and not shit in my pants. Getting a ton of those and everything else I thought I could use to make like golden apple stew or regen or anything, a ton of food blocks, wood for boats, other miscellaneous things I would hope would help in the twilight for- Excuse me? That one doesn't, that, that one don't make sense. Where'd you, you're back? He's fucking back! He's back! And he's pulling me under! Why the hell is he back? How was that allowed? Sir? Sir? You know, I should have suspected if the Wither Storm's going to chase after me for all eternity, so is fucking dragons, but can you stop just... Why? Stop birthing new enemies! Why do you have so much health? He's taking like no... Wait, he's taking like no damage. He can teleport! And he grabs me, and then he's fucking an asshole about it. I fucking hate this beetle. Ah, oh, cool, we're back in the fight. Where you at, Dragon's Bane? I better get some crazy shit for killing you. I don't even know why you exist. It's gonna break my gear, though. That's actually really bad. I spent forever getting this fucking gear. Where am I, perhaps? Can we just, can we ask that question? Stop pulling me under. Like literally, he's just pulling me underground. I don't, I don't understand. Something tells me that you would follow me through dimensions if you could. Stop grabbing me, that's so cheaty. What am I supposed to do to that? Like that's unbeatable. It grabs you and you can't even hit it. And he's got like 7,000 health. Bro, bro. What is wrong with you? I don't think the mod developer was hugged as a child. 
That's the Wither Storm! You really want to try to fuck me up when Big Mommy's here? I don't think this is good. We need to go. We need to go. Oh, hi. Well, I <laughs> didn't see you here. Oh, fuck. Move, Dragon's Mane. Why is it following me to the ends of the earth? That's so many skulls. Fuck it. Fuck the cool pretense. Just, just fuck it. Just fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck everything. Fuck the beetle. Fuck the wither storm. Fuck me. Fuck it. Just get in the portal. Welcome back to the Twilight Forest. In the forest, I'm safe from Dragon's Bane, the true threat of this mod. The wither storm, however, just breaks on through. I started booking my way for the Hydra first. In the original Twilight Forest mod, you hit the Hydra with fireballs. They explode. The heads come back. Its health bar dies. You win. Yada yada. Right. Well, SM must have looked at this and said, Hmm, not enough bullshit on screen. Observe! We can't be afraid of this thing. Also, wither sickness. Gotta love my life. I can't be afraid of this thing. I have to get in its face or else no damage will be dealt. Yes. The ground is erupting from below me. It does that. Can't see. You're kind of in my entire face. Can you please do rocks? We don't have all day. Damn you. you caught me off guard. I didn't think you'd actually do rocks. And welcome to phase two. So I tried doing this before I left the Twilight Forest and after 20 minutes, this is as far as I got. I died right here because he starts shooting everything. So with fire resistance, it's fine. Without it, this was the most insane thing ever. One of you guys got a mouth that like shoots balls, right? One of you guys. Legally, you have to shoot balls out of your mouth. Yeah, you are at your literal limit. What do you mean the fireballs went away? Yeah! I might actually have gotten really lucky. I think he's stuck. I think the Witherstorm's stuck in the final castle. The Witherstorm never came for me. Do not come. But the chest we got for slaying the Hydra gave me Ignis's flaming shield. It too is an explorer's treasure, so it will never break. And if you hold shift while blocking, it will charge at enemies. On top of that, it gave me some more fire blood or fire gear, basically, for later down the road. Now we must take down the Phantom Knights. If you remember that little horn the Netherite Monstrosity gave me, well, if you combine it with my invisibility gem and what the Knights are about to drop, we'll be able to make the monstrous helm. Shorthand, I want it. In the original fight, you face six ghost knights that circle you in a very planned out attacks. It's fucking easy. This time though. Fuck it. Sup bitches, what the hell? That's a lot of skeletons. Damn it. That's so unlucky. Hey, fuckheads! I don't think I can do this. I fucking listen to chat like an absolute idiot. Guys, y'all suck at giving advice. You did this with no food, eh? No food. I'm dead. Uh, you guys, fuck you guys. Mm. Ah, a thousand skeletons. Yes, mm, of course, my bad. Heading back there with the knowledge that I'm about to get boned six ways to Sunday, it went a bit differently. Why are there so many of them? Can't you use torch berries? You can. All right, plenty isn't the right word, but here's 25 torches.
Many, many minutes later. I'm lighting them on fire and taking my own fire damage. That's not happening. I said no fire damage. Oh, oh sorry, my bad. That's a floating blaze rod. Yes, of course. A few minutes later. that. Night Metal Gear, Night Metal Shield, kind of useless. Catching my breath and with the regen amulet in tote, I ran back home in the nether to craft the monstrous helm. You need your netherite helmet to make it. But unfortunately, if you've ever enchanted or changed the NBT data of the helmet at all, it doesn't work towards the recipe. I took this as more of a bug than a feature, since the whole bread and butter of this pack is swapping out and upgrading gear as you can. So what I did was just give myself a fully reset NBT netherite helmet to make the artifact. I'm pretty sure you could just fix this by making the NBT not reliant for the recipe, but I'm no Minecraft modder and my audience is probably losing brain cells hearing me try to talk about it and just wants to go back to funny man getting his ass beaten block game. So we're just moving on. I have the helmet now. With these two artifacts, the monstrous helm and the shield of no fucking durability ever, we need a sword and it was time to make one. You remember that crazy material, Carolite? Well, you can find it in the blue skies dimension, which seemed easy enough. I already had all the blocks to make the portal, so we just light it and we go. But it's not that simple, because nothing ever is. You need a special lighter to ignite the portal called a zeal lighter. You can't craft it, you can only find it by an archmage living in a house that spawns in the overworld. And we all know how lucky I am with finding important structures in the overworld. But there is another way. With a couple ragtag gems you should have lying around, you can craft some. I had everything that I needed except sky jade, a relatively common ore only found in the aether. Oh boy, here we go again. If you're wondering what I'm using to look at the weather storm, it's called a phasometer. This little telescope will tell me if he's just wandering or if I'm fucked sideways with a paddle. Currently it's 4 a.m. at Waffle House level bad, so I gotta move. After cartoonishly sliding off this cloud, I made my way back up and did find some sky jade. And it led me to a dungeon, which I mean, why not? In the dungeon, I found some gloves that give me 0.25 more attack. Woo. And I thought since my shield wouldn't break, I could just cheese the slider boss by just holding it up. I was wrong. But hey, I'm just uh, fast traveling. Yeah, that's how I'll look at it. Afterwards, I struggle immensely trying to make my way back to the nether. The wither storm does not want me in this portal. Look over there. You were looking literally at me and not at the thing. Look over there, let go of me. Look over there, let go of me. That creeper just like started igniting himself either as a suicide attempt or like he pissed his pants and out of fear. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ain't going back there anytime soon. Okay, 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 that was a lot of detour, but now it's finally time. Let's go get that redstone heart. Now that we have the best gear that we can get, we have three options for the redstone heart. One, head back to the Aether and kill the gold boss. Hi there. Big red muscle guy. All while the wither storm tries to slap my booty. Two, take on the wither and use its nether star to locate the harbinger. Or three, head to the blue skies and take down a mage tower. Since I still hadn't found a zeal lighter, option three was out leaving us with more Aether or Wither. I was more experienced with the Harbinger, so I picked the Wither path. And after all the fortresses I'd raided, I'd had plenty of Wither Skulls. But, 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 you forgot this is Explorer's Eve, and we've clearly been having too much fun. So of course, the Wither is tweaked, we'll say. In this version, I walked in blind as a bat, hoping that the literal best gear that I could get right now could handle this guy at this point. And yes, I'm doing the scammy spawn him underground technique. It doesn't matter anyway, just watch. Okay, do you do normal wither things? Something tells me that no, nothing else in this fucking mod pack has been normal. Uh, you regen health like a motherfucker. So that's not possible. Where the garbage is stuck. He's just gonna sit on top of me, I guess. 
fucking exploded! So, um, he fucking nuked me. Back at the fight, apparently, in the second phase, my guy just explodes every three seconds. And then after he Danny Phantom phased through the bedrock and died in the void. G good. No, no, that's, no, that's fucking perfect, man. Wonderful. I ended up spawning him again, but he's just insane now. The Wither shoots way more skulls and has the aforementioned explosions, but he also charges just like the Wither Storm. This results in a clusterfuck of a fight, and if I can get on my soapbox for a second, I'm gonna rant about it. So let's tackle this fight from every angle. I tried spawning the Wither normally and fighting him how you typically would, not cheesing him underground. But to do that, you need a bow and arrows. Not a problem. Except when you're shooting him, he's sitting above you raining down skulls. And oh, did I mention this motherfucker regenerates? Now, the normal Wither does this too, but this one is fast. Too fast. Whether you shoot him to 75% or use your sword, when he gets into phase two, there is no way to do more damage than he regenerates because of the explosions, barrage of shells, teleporting, and his insane regeneration speed. That sounds like a lot, so here's my best example. With Ignis's shield I have on him in a perfect loop where you can get one free hit without any of the skulls hurting you and before he goes into explode mode, by the way, when he's charging explode mode, he is completely invincible. You starting to see how bullshit this is. Even playing perfectly through this loop, and you can do damage, not take damage, I thought maybe that'd be fine. But no, he regens faster than you can hit him. I thought maybe I was playing on hard like that I was told not to at the beginning, so I knocked it down to normal, and it still isn't viable. The fight genuinely seems to be made impossible with how much it regenerates, which is incredibly frustrating because it's one of the only ways you proceed to make a redstone heart. If there are three different split paths in games like this, they should all be around the same difficulty, just a different challenge for each. But for this path, if you picked it, you have apparently a 0% chance of winning. And that's just bad game design, which is a fucking shame because this pack did so much right, you know? But it has these little cracks and flaws that are rearing their ugly head and have started to really bog down the experience for me. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything for the game. If something is bad, I'll say how it is. And this Wither fight, it's the worst fucking thing I've seen in this pack so far. The concept is cool, but the execution falls flat on its face and it's unplayable. But I did not come this far to not finish this. So begrudgingly, I went into creative mode to take down the Wither and got the Nether Star. This feels like a hollow victory at best. Going back to my home in the Nether, I used that same star to make the eye and send me to the Harbinger. Big ups to the game again for this one because making the eye gives you the Nether Star back, which is good because we're gonna need it. The Redstone Eye works like an unbreakable Ender Eye, taking me to the factory. And for now, it seems like our friend the Witherstorm is preoccupied. So I made my way into the Earth's crust, broke into the factory, and set up a bed before hopping into the fight. The dev recommended me do this earlier, but I always thought it was cheaty to just spawn scum. But with no other way to beat bosses, I wasn't taking chance of losing and then being teleported 8,000 blocks away. Even with the quirk of turning on these generators to stun the boss, the fight still wasn't reasonable. And my biggest problem was once again, durability. I thought my armor was gonna fucking disintegrate every time his laser came out. You didn't stun him. You didn't stun him at all. Hello, friend. That's a little aggressive, don't you think? Okay. So I pressed the button, he didn't seem to care. There is now no more button here. The, what do you, the buttons don't do shit. He has been stunicist. I, I thought the spin was a stun. It was not, he just danced. He's changed into shoot a fuck ton of missiles mode. What is he doing? Oh, he's, okay, he's loading up missiles out of his ass. Got it, heard. 
Son of a bitch. That laser is so bullshit. It's like, go behind a column. I'm like, do you think I have time for that? Oh, now he's doing this. He's doing the wither thing. Can I hit it again? I'm a fire I can't, what? It didn't work! Laser into the columns to recharge them. What? What are you even? This is, I mean, this is sick, but this is also what? Why is he charging so much? Just fall over already. Oh, you fucking rascal. Get back here, you rascal. Fuck off. Jesus. Okay, though, that was pretty funny. The fight was annoying, and safe scumming in games like this feels fucking stupid, but that was really fun. With that, we now have the Redstone Heart, and we're well on our way to building the elusive command block. That was the hardest thing. Now it's time for the panels. Hope you're not getting whiplash from this bipolar analysis over here, but the game fucks up so much and then does so much right, it'd be unfair to just shit on it or just praise it. So afterwards, I made the Tainted Gem, this little Jumanji Ouija board piece deal. And if you surround it in purple cum dust, it will point you to the direction of a dungeon with concurrent panels. That's much better than running around for about 45 years randomly. It doesn't tell you anything more than just the direction. That leaves the mystique an adventure while you're still not just navigating a maze blindfolded and drunk. Of course, I had to touch tips with the Witherstorm to get my panel, but after I made it to the dungeon, I found it was an ancient city. How fitting, because I'm gonna be fucking ancient by the end of this game. I took a deep breath, and oh my god, that's fucking sick! Wardens just parole this place. Like, that's so cool! And majorly forces you to be sneaky with getting these panels because there's no way you can actually out, like, fight six different wardens. This isn't the only place you can find those panels, but this is the place where I'm fucking doing it. Watch me fucking sneak mode this shit. Panel! First ever panel in a potion of motherfucking swiftness. If we get five more of these, it's time to get saucy. Four more of these. They do spawn. I was wrong. Panel. Oh my god, there's a warden in between both of my cheeks. Both the booty cheeks got wardens. And of course you got a shrieker, which means triple the warden booty cheeks. This way. Panel, panel, panel. That was an echo shard. Panel! Ow! No! I'm at fucking five! Okay. Please. Yes! I got all the panels and then fast traveled uh, for uh, not because I died. I, I just needed to go home quickly. It was uh, efficient, totally. <clears throat> I used that Carowite to make a sword now that my fire one was biting the dust and it's time to upgrade it into something that can kill that fucking monster that's been chasing me this whole time. The only problem, we're one item short. We need the command block book now. Where is it you may ask? Hold on, let me check the notes. Oh yeah, it's in its fucking head. For the last ingredient in your command block, you'll need to enter the wither storm and scavenge through whatever it's consumed in search of materials. Defeating another withered symbiont will damage it again. This time creating a hole you can access with an ender pearl. Fucker. Bring lights and make sure you're fully geared up. Bring lights. Search through chests until you find three sheets of thalmic paper. Combine them with leather to craft an enchanted command block book. Use to finish your command block. Use a smithing table to combine that with a karite tool or weapon of your choice, and you'll finally be able to damage the command block powering the wither storm. Be warned, trying to set your spawn won't work. If you die, your corpse will fall below the wither storm, and the passage will probably heal, requiring you to defeat another withered symbiote. You're a 
bastard. Okay. So we suited up with everything needed to make a custom command block sword and went to face the beast one last time. But before it'll open up its mind and let me in, oh no, we've got another one. Yes, to finish this game, you must kill another withered symbiont. The first one was reasonable, just a little rough. This one, I can't even get mad anymore. Hold on, yeah, I can. It's fucking impossible. And that's not an exaggeration. This was the breaking point for me. There's been so much good and so much just bad and unplayability in this mod pack, but this tips the fucking scales. Listen up, because it's chapter five, the fucking finale. The Withered Symbiont now has more enemies he spawns, and he has way more attacks and barrages of bullet, magic, whatever else clusterfuck they want to put on the screen, just like every other fight in this mod. Not to mention, the last time the Wither Storm was at about stage 5, and he made it really difficult by using his three tractor beams to pick you up and fuck the ground and shoot some balls. Well, at the end of this, he is stage 7, with nine tractor beams, all of which are shooting skulls, and it's bullshit to even try. I'll show you some footage of the actual attempt, but I'm not gonna lie, I was hella salty. Full disclosure, I'm not nice to this mod pack. I'm very pissy. Oh, great. I think this mod pack is not great. <laughs> I, and it's purely because of its balance. I literally think that you could make a really, like if you tweaked this, made maybe some of the fights a little more visually like sound, and not all in your face. This would be a great fucking mod pack. But as it is, this is stupid. This is this is literally fucking dumb, man. Yeah, that's another way we thought that you could balance it is just by, you know, getting better gear. <coughs> the gear in this fucking sucks. I'm just I'm just going to like say that. The best gear you can get in this is Ignis's, correct? You can't get that till you kill the Witherstorm, meaning I would have to do this fight in this. Technically, I could be in Netherite. You fucking asshole. I will still make this video because I had a lot of fun with this pack, but I will be talking about the fact that I, I don't think it's balanced very well. I will also be talking about the fact that you need new ears whenever you play it. I'd be interested to see you spawn in Ignis armor just to see the difference. I will later. I need to finish this video, whether I don't like this game like this or not. I need it to be done. Whether I have to do the dumb, scummy, fucking spawn back in bullshit or not, I need to get a ending. That's all we're going for at this point, is an actual ending. Because, I mean, after that, what else is there? It's like if you made something, you made like a beautiful cake that's just a wonderful cake that has the perfect combination of sweet and savory and fluffiness into the fucking like bread and you it, it's just amazing but then you decided well no i could give this to people or i could stick 20,000 push pins into the cake and i mean people could still eat the cake like i'm not stopping them but they're gonna have a horrible time to get this a delicious cake. Going for the fire for it. What? Oh my god! Huh oh, I got the lucky like shot to actually try and kill the guy. Which is not how a fight should go. Oh come on! Let me in! Yes! Now that you get my pain, I'm gonna tell you something else I discovered. In an earlier version of Explorer's Eve, you could get Ignitum gear from killing the boss at the top of the final castle in the Twilight Forest. Sick idea, by the way, I love it. Well, the dev tweaked that a little in the new version. You can only fight that boss now by getting the item the Witherstorm drops when you kill it. And you wanna know the kicker? 
The big difference between Ignitum gear and full netherite? Fuck, full netherite with protection forward? I don't fucking care. Ignitum's still twice as strong, and Ignitum doesn't break. There's no durability on it, meaning you wouldn't have to worry about every fight it's shredding, and they just took that out! Since they fucking did that, it makes this fight impossible. To test it, I spawned another with Ignitum gear on via creative, and the difference is night and day. But I know some of you won't be convinced, and that might not be enough for you. So let's actually hop inside the Wither Storm to drive this nail into its coffin. When you're in the bowels, we need to go around and find three special paper to complete our command block. Neat idea. They're found in various spots and they look really creative and cool. But again, sensory overload with the enemies. These zombies take about four hits to kill with a netherite sword, and there are just so many. Also, skeletons here spawn in droves, and it becomes, again, a clusterfuck. If you didn't have unbreakable armor, yeah, it's for sure going to shatter before you even got to the final boss. Remember, the gear that I'm wearing right now in the finale are things that the dev thought was too OP and pushed to the later game. You can't even get what I have. You might as well just pretend that I'm sitting in diamond armor like a goose about to get cooked and shot at a fucking Texas barbecue. Where is this analogy going? I even spawned in a set of 64 gapples at one of the mod testers' recommendations, and I'm just downing them to barely stay alive. The difficulty difference went from like a skilled challenge to like a John Wick movie. Except you're not John Wick, you're John the Custodian from down the block and you're fucking excommunicado. I've raved about it enough, this is dog shit design. But finally, I made the command block book with the sword, and it's worse than netherite? Are you fucking me? With how strong everything is in this place, you've got to be kidding me. Did anyone even playtest this? Ugh, to hell with it. Here's the final fight. With a keen eye, you might be able to see what's wrong with it. Oh, and small little detail, if you fall down that hole in the middle, which everything's gonna try to push you down, by the way, you have to fight a symbiont again to even try this fight again. Yup. All right, here's the part that's literally fucked beyond belief. The way I see this is if you don't kill him in one hit or get lucky that he doesn't heal, you don't kill this thing. Dragon's Bane! He's back! He wants more! This fucking game is so shit, dude. Oh, your game sucks. It's just gonna spawn infinite am amounts of them now. Yeah? Yeah, this is how we make game. I swear, if you had one beta tester that wasn't, like, an expert at playing this game, just one, I, they would tell you all the things that I would say. You, it's not rocket science. I hear them throwing tridents now. And he knocked me into the fucking thing. Great. I need this. Wonderful. This is not reasonable! Why? It's like it's trying to push you out so you don't get to complete it. That's stupid! What am I supposed to kill? Why won't it let me do it? Are those guardians? Of course they are. Spawners. Literal spawners fall from the sky. You just... You literally... I, I, no one played this before making it. They made it. No one played it and just thought, yeah, this sounds cool. It sounds crazy. I want to love 90% of this pack. The ending here, I hate. I actually want to hate it more than I do. I want to get more angry about it. It feels nice. This game isn't bad. The ending, not good. Not good whatsoever. Keep in mind, chat. Keep in mind, by the way. Just keep in mind. I am in gear that you cannot have until you win this fight. Just keep that in mind. One eternity later. Too many things. And no one tested to see if it was a good idea to do that. That's... that's... That's my verdict. 
overstimulation, and everyone thought that was just a good idea. So, what does it look like when you win? I didn't win. I don't want to win. I don't care. We're done here. It just doesn't get better. So many unique ideas to make the Witherstorms fight crazy. The only problem, the normal fight already was. It was a good culmination of everything you were going through and it was a nice challenge. You wouldn't win every time and you needed to actually try to have a shot here. You're just adding more and more and the overstimulation itself is enough to kill the player. The cloud people from the Aether are pushing you while you're trying to build up to the command block in the first place. So many tentacles are throwing you into a pit. There's no way to even like get to the command block. I fell multiple times and honestly just creative my way back up to try brute forcing it again. Friendly reminder, still in the cheaty unbreakable gear that you can't even have yet. It's just not probable. I'm sure you could do it with perfect movement and crazy amounts of luck, but boss fights built like this, where it's insanely impossible and you need every nuance of how to do something, like in Dark Souls or Elden Ring, they let you save beforehand, so you don't have to fail and then do the same boring gameplay loop over and over just to get a chance at something that's nigh impossible. And with saves beforehand, you can't just scum a fight by respawning with your full health and you feel like you may have actually accomplished something instead of just, oh, I set my bed outside and was able to bully it after dying a thousand times with keep inventory on. And that's my problem with Explorer's Eve. Over the course of this whole video, there have been cracks and flaws, and all of them came into culmination in this game's downfall at the very ending. The level of difficulty causes you to try again a lot, encouraging multiple ways to play. But when those paths lead to impossible fights or untested areas, the whole concept of free will falls on its face. And when you design fights to not be beaten unless you run in there a thousand times, you take away any type of feeling of achievement for winning the fight in the first place. And having to do the same over and over because you don't have any sense of direction and where you go to proceed, leads your game and its fundamental loop getting stale before you even make enough progress to play it. And it just makes me want to not play. I wanted to love Explorer's Eve. I really did. Not even counting all the little changes and crazy additions made with just data packs, by the way. This guy's incredibly talented. He breathed new life into old mods and spun them into a whole new adventure. But just take a step back for a second. The entire concept, it's so unique. There are so many Minecraft mod packs nowadays and they're amazing, but 99% of them just add to Minecraft's sandbox concept. And that's not a bad thing. But Explorer's Eve was fresh. It was different. I loved tossing armor when you got new ones and scrambling from minute one just to get away enough to survive. Multiple paths leading to the same goal of stopping the thing that's been chasing you since you started this game. But everything in execution needs a lot of work. I didn't make this video to hate. I wanted to share my whole experience with this game to hopefully inspire more creativity in the Minecraft scene. Maybe even Explorer's Eve could get worked on and become something amazing, a truly unique Minecraft experience. I want to see all of this improve. You've got my entire vote here. But as it stands, the finale is unfinished. There's post-game, but I didn't cover it because I couldn't get there. And I was told it wasn't much better than what we saw at the end here. So maybe if things change, I'll make a sequel to this video. I'm rooting for Explorer's Eve. SM, you've made one of the most creative takes on Minecraft I've ever seen. It just needs a bit more work, I think. But that's just my opinion. You can tell me to go fuck myself for all I care. I mean, whatever. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried something really out of my comfort zone here, trying to actually give some good points in my script instead of just mindlessly screaming at block game for an hour and a half. 
If you want to see more stuff like it, hit the like and subscribe. I mean, it would really help me. And I do have one more call to action. One of the last games we made a 100 days on was Cisco's pack. It's another mod pack that I found, diamond in the rough style, but I'm only one guy. So if you know any Minecraft mods that are just bangers and no one knows of them, send them my way through Discord or Twitter. There's links in the description. I'd love to delve more into the super indie Minecraft scene. For now, all this footage was streamed on my second channel. And if you want to see more of me, there's tons of content over there. You can check it out with the link below as well. Or I've got more videos on this channel that I guarantee you'll love. This was a labor of love to make and at sometimes a labor of hate. Shout outs to everyone that has made Explorer's Eve what it is today. And as always, my name has been Eclipse, EQ for short, and thank you for watching.